Wizards of the Coast have made it abundantly clear. They're going to center the design of every single one of their products around Commander, the most popular way to play Magic the Gathering. And while I myself am skeptical about the looming release of Commander Masters, it's weird to see Wizards of the Coast actively make decisions that say to me, they don't believe in this set as much as they would like us to think they do. Let's talk about this one. When it comes to a set like Commander Masters that is looking to come out August 4th of 2023, I think there was a lot of reasons for regular enthusiasts like you and I to be skeptical. And of those reasons to be skeptical, it seems like Wizards of the Coast have tried to make most of them the norm. But recently, WotC itself made a massive decision that just screamed to me that they don't believe in Commander Masters as much as they seem to be fronting like they do. So today we want to talk about that decision and then I want to give you guys a chance to get into the comment section and pick my brain apart. I know you guys like telling me that the way I see things is right or wrong and sharing how you feel about these things and I think today's video is going to be an amazing opportunity to do that because I don't know if you guys are going to see it the way I do, but without further ado, I really want to talk about this major decision that WotC made. And the major decision actually happened during a Lord of the Rings live stream or video announcement. During that announcement, we got word that there's going to be a super special collector uh, art, alt art, full art scene version of Lord of the Rings that is going to show up as the holiday product. And while this was hype and people had mixed feelings about this, I actually make a made a video about it on the channel, I think there was something that I missed. It was weird when I started to think about it that Wizards of the Coast took what is the master set for the most popular way to play Magic the Gathering and didn't make that the holiday product. The decision to go with Lord of the Rings over Commander Masters for the holiday product says a lot to me. So I really think this shows that they don't believe in Commander Masters as much as we would think they do. But I can't just leave you with that. I gotta talk about the why. Why do I think that this decision points in the direction that it does? Well, the first is going to be the price. Now the price of Lord of the Rings is 100% high, but the price of Commander Masters is astronomical. Upon release, we were looking at 400 plus dollars for a set box and Interestingly, it's you know the set has since slid into the deep end of the pool and not the Scrooge McDuck money pool, but the pool you don't want to be in if you can't swim. You can currently pre-order set boxes on TCG Player for $369. Nice. And if you want to pre-order those boxes, you will be, well, what is considered one of few when it comes to other Magic releases. This set is not selling extremely well, and if you want to track all of that sales data, I will be making videos about it on the channel. Make sure you are subscribed to catch those. But the price isn't the only problem with Commander Masters, and far be it for me to think I'm the only one that's noticed. Wizards of the Coast has to realize that when it comes to a master set, you rely on power level to push the product. That is no secret. There's there's no secret sauce there. Master sets have powerful cards. But historically, while master sets have juiced the commander format and provided powerful and popular reprints, they have also gone a long way to support other formats that are not Singleton. This is extremely important as while Commander is the largest community, 100%, when it comes to modern, legacy, vintage, pauper, pioneer, and all the other formats, there's probably a good number of players in all those and enough to justify buying this product and needing four of a card. Well, Commander Masters isn't going to go a long way to supporting any format that, well, frankly, isn't Commander. So it'll be interesting to see as a product is released that requires only a singleton of every single card available that doesn't seem to have that reach that goes out into these other formats and kind of pulls some of that community in to either buy the singles, buy the boxes, or whatever it might be, how this product stands, you know, on a market where we're used to having multiple cards. Now listen, Commander works great in the opposite direction. When a set comes out and people, you know, buy it primarily for the four ofs, and then the Commander community interacts with the product to get one copy of the legend or the card they might need, and I'm gonna stop right here, those who want more than one copy of a commander card. I feel like I have to address you every time I talk about this. I know that there are some of you out there that is not most enthusiasts. Like, so just in all fairness, most people don't want four mana vaults for all their different commander decks. They just do one and they just swap it around. But I really think that's an interesting challenge that Commander Masters is going to have to overcome. And Wizards of the Coast knows this. And to revisit a set, we have to have a reason to reopen some of the boxes. With the Masters set being all reprints and Commander Masters, you know, really giving people a 
lot of singletons to choose from, it would be really hard pressed for them to revisit that set during the holiday season, find a re-release of that set that entices enthusiasts to pay as much money as we had and open some of that product. So I think there's a massive challenge there that WotC saw. Now, there is some weirdness here because Lord of the Rings kind of feels like a commander set. And while Lord of the Rings, you know, seems to give us all these legends and all this flavor and theme to build commander decks and play in unique ways in this world of Lord of the Rings, I think it tells us something more about how our commander community currently engages with their hobby. I think commander more so than any other format is not driven by power level. Recently, I went down to the local game store and I played some games of Commander and I got to be reminded that while having powerful cards is always fun, Commander enthusiasts have been trained over the past two, three years to not necessarily be as concerned with power, but be more concerned with the theme of their deck and the experience. What I mean by this is every single set that comes out gives commander players a new way to play commander. It seems like it gives them a new commander. It gives them some new tech or new spice or powers up a new color so someone can, it, it can explore into that deck. And we look no further than most of our online commander communities. What's the big boast? I have 15 commander decks. I have 20 commander decks. Every commander player has a ton of decks. Rather than having one or two powerful, they have... 10 to 12 of different themes and different commanders from different times in Magic that had popular or fun things that they like to do on the table. So this being said, Commander Masters looks to kind of take a shift in how we engage with Commander cards and juice the power level rather than the go wide variety and spice of life. And I think this is going to be a challenge when you've trained your community to engage with the product a certain way over the past three years, it's hard to in a single set get them to shift off of that. And if it was easier, if this was going to be something that was going to grab its hooks into the deepest aspect of Magic the Gathering players and really hold tight, I think Wizards of the Coast would have no problem making it the holiday set. I really think by going with Lord of the Rings, they're acknowledging, hey, this is essentially a commander set that is super go-wide, gives you new ways to play, plays in a fun uh, IP and has its own unique theme, and that's going to do better with the largest magic community than something like Commander Masters. I really think this is a red flag, and Wizards of the Coast is openly admitting it. So it's unique to see them want to go wide like this, but I want to know what you guys think. I think Commander Masters will struggle for these reasons. The big one, of course, is the price. Now, a caveat here, when we talk about the set box price, we don't really know what's in the set box as far as the list slot goes. There's been some speculation about some crazy spice. And if that happens, I reserve the right to, you know, change my argument. With new information, we make new opinions. But as my opinion sits right now, I think not only am I skeptical on Commander Masters, but even Watsy is skeptical on how a Singleton Commander Masters product could do in the market when it's also sandwiched between the you know, Lord of the Rings, we got Doctor Who, it's going to be a wild time in magic. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I know when I get critical like this, you guys love to pick my brain apart and I love that about you. And in fact, if you like doing that, if you like the videos, the vibe around here, the consistent uploads, make sure you hit that sub button. We're racing to 5750 subs. I actually can't keep up with how fast you guys are clicking the sub button. You all rock. You kick so much butt. Um, unfortunately, this Friday, there won't be a Friday morning magic live stream. I'm on vacation with my family, but every other Friday, we meet on Friday morning, 8 a.m. Central Time, and have an amazing live stream. Last time, uh, the stream chat convinced me to spend a bunch of money working towards a collection that I wanted. I made a post about that. Make sure you go and comment on that post. It, it's a wild time. And again, share this video with a friend or group of friends, whatever social media platform you use. If you think other people you know might like comments like this or conversations. Until next time, you guys know me. My name is Josh. Let me know if you think I'm on base or I'm way off in the wind on this one. And we'll see you next time. We'll talk to you soon.